Hello and welcome. Today we have a, uh, a short video on how to just test the integrity of the sockets in your home. Um, we're in America here in the United States and um, our sockets have 120 volt standard. If this was a socket like for my, my uh, washing machine or my, my refrigerator or oven, this would be rated at 100 or excuse me, 240 volts. Uh, so without further ado, Taking a look at this multimeter here, you want to turn it to the setting or the voltage most nearest what you're trying to measure. And again, this is 120, so we're going to put that to 120. Uh, they come with these prongs here. And the COM prong, you'll see, is for the black one. The COM uh, port is for the black prong. And then this little V with the upside down horseshoe that's like uh, ohms you want to put that one for the red the red prong okay I'm like uh, so again put that multimeter to the nearest voltage what you're trying to measure and then go ahead and stick always the negative first and then the positive and we should get that uh, should get that 120 measurement there Anywhere near and around that 120 is okay, approximate. And again, always we're going to do the negative prong first. Give us no reading, and then we're going to do the positive second. Yep. Okay. Also, uh, to check just the, the positive itself, you could ground the negative to anywhere that's metal and test the positive afterwards. So we're gonna ground our negative to just to the screw on the face on the face plate, and then we're gonna test the outlet. Same thing for the top. awesome now again um, I want to I want to um, make sure I mention something as well uh, if you find that your outlet has given good voltage or good output and you're still experiencing these problems and you know that your devices um, they have good adapters and they aren't faulty or the wires or whatnot aren't exposed or anything like that then you want to go to your 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 home fuse box and you want to whichever room that's associated with this socket, and you want to disable that room at your home's fuse box because you all don't want to get hurt, um, troubleshooting issues that may be with this socket, taking this apart, looking and checking to see if the wires back here are, are, are damaged or any of them are burned or anything like that. You always want to make sure you go to your um, home's fuse box and disable that first. So, Okay, so what we have here is my home's uh, fuse box. And can't stress this enough. You want to make sure that the the fuse that's associated with your uh, electricity's plate. You want to make sure that to that room, even that whole uh, room is disabled by flipping the levers associated with this fuse box. So a lot of times they'll have these labeled where you're able to see which room corresponds to which fuse and you make sure you innate, you disable that because you don't want to get hurt just trying to look at uh, troubleshoot your cords or your electricity or what may be happening back there because it's very easy for that to happen. And to avoid that, you just come here to your fuse box and you go ahead and you flip that switch and then you can go ahead and get to work. 